Hi, I'm Joel Posey, and I'm here with Miss California, Jessica Carmack. How are you doing? I'm doing so well. I actually just woke up from a nap. We were at rehearsals for the second day of preliminaries, but I'm feeling well energized. They're making sure that us girls get plenty of sleep on our downtime, so I'm very excited to be here and for the second night. I know. So you're telling me that you've actually had some of the best rest that you've had since winning the title of Miss California. How is that possible? Everyone says it's so hectic here. Yeah, I was actually very nervous coming to Miss America, just wondering how much sleep I was going to get. But I'm very surprised because last night we actually got back to our room around 11 and I went to sleep by 12 and I got to sleep in until 8 o'clock this morning. So I got a full eight hours you are so lucky. and throughout the day I get to nap because tonight I have on stage question, which is not too much rehearsal time. So okay. I'm well rested. That's fantastic. That's yeah. much more rest than what I received. I think I, I stayed up till about 4 a.m. last night. Oh, so gosh. we're running on fumes here. Um, so tell me, of course, you did your talent last night. How did you feel about that? Was that a different talent than you did at State this year? It was a different talent piece I did at State. I did do an acrobatic jazz routine like I did at Miss California, but I thought competing at Miss America, this is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity, so I wanted something new and something fresh that I've, no one has ever seen me perform before. So I performed a jazz dance with acrobatic, acrobatic moves to A Little Less Conversation by Elvis Presley, and I had, yeah, it was so much fun. I had this amazing Elvis costume on with a huge eagle on the back. It had a ton of rhinestones, some fringe, so it was incredible. It's still a pageant. You need lots of rhinestones. Yes, you need that wow factor. So I had a great time, and I really hope the judges enjoyed it because I really did. See, that's the best part. Of all of the different uh, phases of competition that you have, what is your favorite or the one that you're looking forward to most? Interview is actually my favorite because I'm a talker. I love to talk, and that's the only time you really get to connect with the judges on a conversational level. And when you're on the stage, they get to hear you talk about your platform during an onstage question, see you perform your talent, walk in swimsuit in an evening gown, but. In the interview, I really feel like that's where they get to know me and where I can make a connection with them in my personal life and my experiences with their personal life and their experiences. So I had that on Monday, and it was great. It was the fastest 10 minutes of my life, but so much fun. What um, was one of your favorite questions that they asked you? I would say one of the most surprising questions they asked me were what my pet peeves were, three of my pet peeves, and that's not something that I was preparing for, but it was just fun to get that one-off question because it kind of relaxed things. It was a very fun and personable interview, so I really think that they got to know me, but to share some of my pet peeves was kind of fun, too. So, now, I know you from doing Miss California together. We have competed together, and I love Jessa. She's phenomenal. I'm so happy for her to be our representative. But we actually have someone in common. I, Connie Oliver has been helping you with all your styling, and yeah, I've been keeping up, be and she's great. been, like, reposting. What is some of your favorite part of preparing for Miss America and having these different volunteers helping out? So I'm so fortunate to be Miss California this year because we have new leadership, which really they have understood how we need to move forward. And... Connie has been an amazing prep chair because she really makes sure that I'm doing what I want to do because this is the only time I have the opportunity to compete, to compete at Miss America, and I don't want to leave this competition with any regrets. No matter what happens on September 11th, I'm, if I'm crowned Miss America, if I'm in the top 15, or if I am not a semifinalist, it really doesn't matter at this point because I truly feel like I'm being myself and I'm doing it exactly how I want to do. And see, that's phenomenal, being able to present yourself because exactly. that's what they're looking for. You just have to be the best you, even though it is a competition, yeah. it's really competing about uh, who you can be and the top quality that exactly. you can perform. Exactly. Okay, so are there any shout outs that you have for individuals who have helped you get here that you really want to say thank yeah. you to? Of course, definitely to all my friends and all my family, that is the number one shout out because without you, I would not be able to be where I am today in my life. But most importantly, the Miss California organization, thank you so much for your support and making sure that I am the best Miss California I can be for this competition. And to all of our sponsors, Cora. Pilates, Tamara Skincare, Mia Bella Couture. I know I'm probably going to miss a couple. Um, Eva Varro, Paige Denim, Bricks, Luggage. Thank you all so much. And if I didn't mention you, please don't take it that I do not appreciate you. But there are a lot of them, and I truly, sincerely appreciate every single sponsor and every single person that helped me get to Miss America today. And if you follow her on social media, you'll see it too. <laughs> because she tags and hashtags and posts and does everything. You're like, you're the dream girl for oh, any sponsor, you. honestly. And that. honestly, for the entire state. We love you. All of the contestants had so much fun. And you're just such a wonderful person. You have workouts, don't you think? <laughs> Look great.